Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Jehleal in this incarnation. Today, I wanted to talk about Venus in Capricorn because it is creating this trine with Uranus in Taurus. And together with the, with the transit of Mars and Neptune, these aspects are sustaining ourselves during this process of the new moon in Aquarius that uh, implies transcending resistances in order to embrace the changes. Uh, every square uh, involves, you know, uh, to do a labor, and there could be there there can be people that are more open to changes to the new, and there can be people that have more resistances. It's going to be different for each one, but we have to know that these changes are the necessary thing to co-create this new reality. And in some way, Venus in Capricorn is like helping us putting this energy available. Uh, we can um, take advantage of, of it if we want to, to uh, do the efforts, the, the necessary efforts to move the energy, to do these changes from self-love, from the desires of the soul. Because we have to remember that every change that life brings to us is to align ourselves with the desires of the soul, but not the desires of the ego. That's why I've talked a lot about this, because... Uh, Recognizing the desires of the soul is an evolutionary process. When we shed a shell of the ego, a layer of the ego, suddenly we don't want anymore what we used to, to desire. Uh, so it, it is important to, to recognize this too. And many times we, we don't realize, I mean, when we experiment resistances, our egos are disconnected. And it's part of the process we all experimented because, uh, in fact, this, this is, uh, these are very uncomfortable changes in some area of our lives. But this is much bigger than us. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that um, uh, everything that is happening to the individuals affects the, the entire planetary network and the people that surround us. I am going to put this example um, because it is the one that I'm thinking right now. But when a person, for example, has, um, if a person has to leave his or her job in order to follow the call of his or her soul and has resistances to do it because it's not the right moment, because I, I, wanted, I wanted to do this, but not this way, uh, this could be the resistances of the ego uh, many times. The ego wants to control how the process is developing, and with Uranus, we cannot control anything. And this could be very, very challenging. Um, so if that person is in resistance and cannot follow that call, then the people that were going to receive the help, uh, they are not going to receive it. And, you know, this affects everything and principally our individual lives, of course, because if, if we are not uh, like following the path of the soul, this is going to create blockages. Um, so... Uh, I, I wanted to I wanted to comment that, but uh, I think it, it's important to to remember that um, uh, the resistances are understandable in some way because we are not only co-creating a new reality; we are we are being carried to a new state, a new inner state of a spiritual elevation because that is what co-creates another reality, and it is a very uncomfortable process. So. Uh, when we when when we have the courage to take these decisions, we are recalibrating our energy and and also the energy the, the people that surround us. We are collaborating with that. That's what I'm trying to say. So the energy of Aquarius also is telling us that there is no comparison that we have to find find our own way. There is no comparison with situations of other people. There is no comparison in in any uh, experience because we are uh, having right now. Uh, the the necessary situations to let go of that old destructors and those are the situations that correspond to us uh, correspond to us so let's trust that universe is sustaining ourselves and everything that is happening is actually to align ourselves with the frequency of new earth I I really believe in this so uh, okay, I just wanted to leave this message today. Today, <laughs> thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.